Hi guys, I like hunting. I really, really like hunting. And right now it's winter, it's bitter cold outside, and this means there's not much going on. I still go hunting. What I shoot is coyotes. And I hunt rabbits in winter. And when I have some time, I'm working on my projects. Right now it's cold outside, I'm in my basement. It's New Year's Eve, and I have to finish my project. I like hunting birds. Ducks, geese, Canada geese, snow geese in the field. I like also wing shooting, but most of my hunts happen in the field over the decoys. I hunt in Canada, in Saskatchewan, in central Saskatchewan. During the last years I noticed that many of my hunts happen on a wheat field, on a combined harvested wheat field. There is nothing left on the straw. For some reason birds started to avoid the pea fields. Maybe they are getting smarter, maybe they learned have learned that the hunters like to shoot them on a pea field. I would say 99% of all my hunts happening on wheat fields now. And I noticed that all my nice stuff doesn't work so good anymore. Decoys are perfect, my layout blinds are supposed to be camo and they're supposed to conceal me, but this doesn't happen. I bought some nice stuff, like killer weed, everything that I could find, what was available. And I decided I need something which will cover me in a straw field. Something that looks like straw, real straw. I used Google and searched and looked and I was doing my research, I could not find anything. I checked all the bigger retailers, Cabela's doesn't offer anything. There is just nothing on the market. Nothing that will look like real straw. Neither Google nor YouTube nor eBay could help me. There is nothing available on the market. That's how I came up with the idea to help myself. I got some straw from the farmers, one pound, twenty-five dollars, I'm just joking, you can get it for free. I had to decide how I'm going to implement my idea. I wanted not only to cover myself, I wanted to cover my layout blind, and I wanted to cover my gun, and I wanted to cover my partner, my dog, my lap. And lots of other stuff, like the flag or the electronic collar, which we are allowed to use during the spring snow goose hunt. That's why I went for a net. I bought this net on eBay, I actually bought many because I like this idea very much. It's about four feet wide and six, seven feet long, which is enough to cover the out blind. I had to decide how I'm going to attach the straw to the net. In the past I used wire, just any wire. What I didn't like about the wire, it is too shiny in the sun. And the ends, they're too sharp. You can hurt yourself, scratch your skin, which happened to me a couple of times. What I didn't like about the cable ties, I would always find them in white or in black. And I kept looking and looking until I found them in yellow. See the yellow color? Looks so nice, almost identical to the straw. That's exactly what I needed. Cable ties. I found them in a local PV Mart. You will find them in other places probably. 
My plan B was pipe cleaners. I found a shop which offers them in different colors, and of course I didn't want pink or green or black, I wanted yellow, like the straw. One dollar. Uh, the good thing about those pipe cleaners is they also have wire inside, so you can reliably attach your straw to the net. You can cut them in two, three pieces, that's what I do. I cut them in short pieces, yeah? And I can use my pliers and uh, they will fix reliably. They will attach the straw reliably to the net. And at the same time, the wire is covered with this soft stuff. It still has some sharp corners that I don't like. Straw is good, but straw is natural material and I was afraid uh, I will lose it this time. It might get soft when you have rain. It will get dirty, muddy, and uh, after a couple of years you have to do it over again, which is not a big deal. I can just cut those cable ties and attach fresh straw and, or I will have my net available again, can attach something else. But I also came up with an idea, I found a synthetic rope, just any regular rope. It consists of three separate strings and uh, I couldn't find it in any shop, I found it in my garage. Uh, Amongst other ropes, they look differently. Some look more orange, some look shiny, yellowish. But this one, it was in use. It was heavily used. And it spent a lot of time in water, in mud, when pulling out my quad. And it had exactly the same color like the straw. What I like the most about this, I can just attach this rope. And it is synthetic stuff. It will stay forever. It will not rot. And the best part of it is you can separate the strings and you will have something that looks like this. I like this very much. But the straw still looks a little bit, just a little bit different. That's why I'm adding some straw to this net. I'm almost done. This is my second net. One is already done. This is for my, for my partner. So this is my solution when hunting birds in wheat fields, in harvested already combined wheat fields. This is my straw camo. It's not artificial, it's real straw which will camouflage me, which will conceal my blind, my partner, my yellow lab, dog, and myself, and all my stuff when hunting in the wheat field. And I hope this net will help me to bring in many birds in the next season. So this is my project. This is a straw. This is a grass from the field. And I should be done soon. My partner approves, he likes this project and we both hope that we will have lots of success and lots of fun during the next spring season which is approaching quickly. Thank you. Bye bye.